this juncture of the season because they're without two of their best players right now, it's Bryce Aiken and Seth Towns. And what you're missing in those two guys, Mike, you're missing your playmaker. Kirkwood going to work on Little. One great freshman against another. In the lead, offensive foul against Bassey. Mays now got 10, the leading scorer for either side. On the lob, it's turned away. Here goes Little, jams with two. Explosive from Florida Rim in the blink of an eye. to elevate he's a guy that should walk some heavy minutes for Harvard and this, this feels like a Robert Baker game count the bucket and one for Nasir Little Carolina fan base is clamoring for this guy to get more minutes coach Williams play him more is what they're saying coach is giving him the opportunities he knows he can do things like that talking with coach Williams very complimentary of his blue chip guy saying he's the most like the most explosive player Coach Williams has ever had. It's pretty high praise when you think about the guys that he has had on the floor. Fun matchup to watch here. Baker on Johnson. Length on length. Juricic tries to stop Little. No luck. May with it. He's got a game high 12. Thought about the three. Instead, shovels it for Little, who rattles it in. Ten points for Nasir Little. Those are the things you need if you want to do the unthinkable and pull one off here in Chapel Hill. Johnson's missed all of his three-point tries tonight, 0 for 4. And a lot of offensive weapons. I like Kansas. So you're taking experience over you. I like the blend. Give me all of it. You can win with, with youth, though. Carolina here, vintage Roy Williams, Duke, we know about them. Virginia is a team I'm curious about. Versus Notre Dame as they hosted them, beat them pretty handily. Turns water into wine, so don't count that team out. I had a chance to see them in Atlantic City versus Washington, and Washington's had their ups and downs. But the way Virginia Tech came out in that game, they make you play their kind of game. It's ready for a da-da-da, da-da-da, right there. Don't want to get better in a half court. So North Carolina with the victory is now 10 and 3. They sit at number 15 in the country. Harvard falls to 6 and 6.